This is a tutorial video for the VST plugin from Maboose Software. Maboose is a great little tool to mash up video using MIDI and can be thought of like a video sampler. What's more is it can automatically synchronise movies to the tempo of a host such as Ableton. We're going to look at the different functions available which make Maboose easy to use. There's four main areas. The browser, the playback controls, the screen and the video effects. The browser window has two main functions, to load files off your drive and to trigger files already loaded into the media bank. You'll notice on startup that the browser window displays a help file which you can scroll down and read. This can be recalled by pressing the info button here. So let's load a file by clicking on the drive button and browsing to my video folder. Now quite a useful function is the quick recall button which remembers a specific location. So if I browse to another folder, I can just press this button and it takes me back to my stored location. Let's load a movie by double clicking on this file. Maboose then imports the movie and extracts the audio. This may take a few moments depending on the length of the movie. This version of Maboose only loads movie files and for best performance these should be compressed to photo JPEG 25 frames per second and set to 320 by 240. More detailed information on file formats is available on our website. The first time, Maboose will automatically open the media bank and you can see the movie file listed under bank A. If I select it, Maboose will play the file and we can stop it by pressing stop. If you want to load several files simultaneously, then just click the load folder icon and browse to a folder and open. Again, this may take a few moments. Once Maboose has extracted the audio, it will load the files much quicker next time. You may have noticed that the media bank window is divided into bank A, bank B, C and D. Each of these banks contains 12 movies and corresponds to 12 notes over an octave. So if I click the on-screen keyboard, it will trigger a different movie. This mapping also applies if you are triggering a boost using a MIDI keyboard. If you select a new movie using the mouse, this will be loaded onto the first note, C. To load a new bank of movies, just press the appropriate bank button. Again, this may take a few moments depending on the length of your files. We recommend using a MIDI keyboard to trigger Maboose and this also allows you to make use of MIDI controllers. Once a movie is loaded, it will track any tempo changes made to the host. So if I change the tempo in Ableton, you can hear that the movie stays in perfect sync. The playback control section allows us to manipulate the loop and speed of the movie and adjusting this vector controller reduces the loop length and playback position. Next to the play stop buttons is the reverse switch. And next to that, the loop direction. This defaults to stutter and you can switch it to ping pong, which alternates the loop direction. This number here controls the playback speed and can also be controlled using pitch bend. Maboose has several different modes, which affect how the keyboard triggers playback of the files. Default mode is multi, which, as we have just seen, assigns a bank of movies across an octave. If we select single mode, this maps the last played movie across the entire keyboard, and you can then play the movie like an instrument. Continuous mode is like a legato function, and the movie keeps playing and looping till a new movie is triggered. The last mode is note to segment mode, which divides a movie into 12 equal segments and maps a segment to each note across an octave. This mode can create some awesome editing effects and is ideal for remixing and mashups. The video effects section contains some standard as well as some unique video processing. The brightness and contrast controls share the same on switch, and adjusting the sliders can create subtle differences or can be used to extreme for saturated and inverted images. These can be further enhanced by the ghost effect. Feedback is synchronised to the current tempo of Ableton and generates a range of kaleidoscopic and fantastic entrancing effects. The slider basically varies the style of these. Psycho Flash is a cool strobing effect, also synced to tempo, and you can adjust the intensity and the movement. The last effect is Mirror, and this creates moving patterns from any image, which can range from two images to hundreds. 
You can try out different combinations of effects simply by switching different ones on. And if you wanted greater control, you can click on the unfold button to display more plugin parameters, which can be automated using MIDI. Once you've sequenced the video mashup, you can then record the video output to a QuickTime movie by pressing this record button here. To stop recording, just press it again. We will be releasing a number of add-ons soon, including the facility to project the video full screen, so you could use Mabuse as part of a live set. Check our website regularly for more information on this, and also to download the latest version for free. You can also join the mailing list to be the first to hear on developments at www.mabuse.co.uk.